Hello everyone. Today we shall look into date add function. Date add function it returns a table that contains column of dates shifted either forward or backward in time by the specified number of intervals from dates in the current context. Date add function it has three parameters which is dates, number of intervals, and uh, interval. The dates argument can be any of the following. It can be a reference to a date date time column. Okay, it can be a table expression that returns date time values. It can be a boolean expression that defines a single column table of date time values. This function this function is not supported for use in direct query mode or uh, low le row level security rules. Okay, let us look into an example. Here we have uh, we shall select a table. Okay, in this table we'll uh, bring in the calendar dates. I'll bring in the dates and uh, I'll bring in the total sales using total sales measure. Here we have the respective dates and total sales. Uh, total sales measure which we have it is sum of order details sales uh, you know column. This we could see in the measure. Now let us create a measure where we shall understand about the data add function. I'll create a new measure. Here I'll write previous week sales. Let us suppose that we want to view the previous week sales. What I'll do is I'll write date add. In the dates, I'll use calendar date. Okay. In the number of intervals, I'll use you know minus 7. And in the interval, since I want a week, it is like uh, past 7 days. I'll link enter the day. This is our filter argument where we want to, you know, uh, evaluate the total sales. So I'll write calculate. The expression would be total sales. Okay. And I'll in include the data add function in the filter argument. I'll, I'll close the parenthesis at the end and hit enter. Now into this table, we shall bring in the new measure which we have written previous week sales. Okay. Let us expand the table. Here you could see that this 440 value it is the previous week sale of uh, you know 4th July. Similarly, for every uh, you know for every week difference, the respective values will be populated for the previous week. This is the uh, you know this is how we can move forward or backward. Okay, uh, in with respect to the date add function, let us understand with one more example. Let us create previous year sales. I'll create a new measure. I'll write previous year sales equal to calculate total sales. Okay, I'll use the date add function. In the date dates, I'll use the calendar date. And in the interval, I'll write minus one. In the interval, I'll use year. Okay, I'll close the parenthesis hit enter here i'll select the table visual again okay here i have a table visual i'll bring in the year column from the calendar table okay and i'll bring in the total sales from measure table and i will add the previous year sales okay now we could we could see that this is our previous year sales which we have and uh, suppose that i want to calculate year on year growth we could it could help us okay i'll create one more measure where i'll write the year on year growth here i'll write y o y percent equal to divide in the numerator it is like total sales minus we want previous year sales okay and uh, i want to divide this with previous year sales this is how we get year on year growth i'll bring in the measure in, in into the table okay and i'll select this percentage in the format here you could see that the total sales of 2013 it is 226298 here in 2014 the previous sales you know we have the same value and year 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 on year growth it is uh, total sales minus previous previous year sales divided by previous year sales the year on year growth here it is 190% for the next year it is around minus 
this is how data add function helps us to evaluate either you know backward or even we can calculate for the forward time using uh, the same parameters and just by including the positive values in the inter interval part okay this is all for now thank you for watching and uh, we shall meet in the next video